Hi everyone. I hope you enjoyed our story yesterday about bored Claude. Do you remember the picture I showed you that was made with all the different bits and pieces from the beach that Connie gave me? Well, I've been down for a little walk on the beach this morning to see what I can find. Have a look at this. Okay, I'm down at the beach and I'm going to see if I can find something to make my picture. Can you hear the sound of the waves in the background? Isn't that a lovely sound? And I can smell the seaweed. There's a lot of seaweed around. Let's have a look and see what I can find. There's a little shell. I like that one. Some nice little stones, little tiny ones like that. There's another nice little one. Look what I find here. Can you guess what that has come from? Yep, if you guessed a crab, you're right. That's a shell of a crab. The crab's legs aren't there anymore, but that's the crab's shell. There's a nice shell. We'll take that one. It's nice and smooth. It's not just so smooth, it's a bit bumpy around the edges. Take this feather. It would feel very soft, wouldn't it? But I'll have to give it a really good wash when I get home. And I'll have to wash my hands really well too. It's nice and smooth. Oh, boys and girls, here's something I would not want to touch. Can you think how that would feel if I did touch it? That is a jellyfish. And that would give me a very nasty sting. So I'm definitely not going to touch that. I imagine it feels very soft and squidgy, like jelly, but I'm not going to touch it because that would not be nice. So here's all the different things that I found when I was down at the beach. I found lots of shells, big ones, small ones, ones that are really smooth. That's smooth, the razor shell. And then this one here, it's a little bit more rough to feel. Yeah. This shell has got a bit of seaweed stuck to it. And the seaweed is bendy and soft and a bit slimy. And there's a great big bit of seaweed. Yeah. And a soft feather that I find. And lots of lovely little stones. I love those little white stones. They're so smooth and so pretty and some bigger stones. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. And I probably won't need very many of them, but let's go and see what we can make with all these different things that I find on the beach. I also gathered a few little sticks um, that I find in the garden. So maybe I could use those. I think I'm going to do a mummy and two children. Let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to use the little stones for their body, like so. And then for mummy, no, that's a bit too big. Let's see, maybe use that one for mummy because she's taller. Okay, then it's just use those for legs and little skinny ones for the children like so there we go there's some more legs right now we have some little stones along the bottom just for them to be walking along Maybe could have gathered some more of those little stones there. Very pretty, aren't they? But we'll set them along there. Oops. Like so. Okay. Uh, quite like this bit of seaweed. Maybe a little bit shorter. 
I'm gonna lie it there. It's a bit like a tree, yeah? And that could be a tree at the side. And what could I use for the sun in the sky? Let's, let's put that up there for the sun. Yes, I like the lines along that. Feels nice and smooth. That feels all, oh, I can push those. There's quite squidgy. Okay, I think we're doing well. And I've got another little bit that I broke off. So I can put that on this side just to frame it. I'll move this person over a little bit. Turn it around like that. Um, yeah. Now, I think that's a good place to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything off and I'm going to spray it with glue and then I'm going to stick it all back on again. Okay. Here it is finished. I decided to use my pen, uh, two pens, a red pen and a black pen, and to add some lips and some eyes. And mum has some eyelashes and also some arms and they're all holding hands. When I was having a walk on the beach, I suddenly realised that I was using four of my senses, the four that we've already done as I was walking along. Have a look at this video. I was using my ears to listen to the crashing of the waves as they came in. I was using my eyes to look at the beautiful beach and the lovely sea and the sand. I was using my nose to smell because do you know when you're at the beach you can smell the sea, you can smell the seaweed. There's lovely fresh smells about. And then touch. I could feel the wind blowing against my cheeks. I could hear the wind as well, but I could feel it blowing against my cheeks. So there's four of our senses that I was using to enjoy my walk. Let's sing a nice song about the sea and the fish that live in it. This is called Four Little Fishes Swimming Out to Sea. Four little fishes swimming out to sea. One met a shark and then there were three. Three Fishes wondering what to do. One hid in a big shell, and then there were two. Two little fishes looking for some fun. One chased after a wave, and that left only one. One little fish with all his friends gone went home to find his. Mum and that left none. Great. Maybe you could listen to that over and over again and get to know the words and sing along with it. That would be lovely. Boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you've, you enjoy making your pictures. Don't forget to feel all the different things that you gather to make your picture and make sure you've got some nice smooth things on it, some bumpy and rough, maybe some soft things. Get lots of different textures and things that feel different and use them to make your picture. Enjoy that. 
Boys and girls, I'll see you again next week. Okay, so until then, please take care and stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.